evening all. Today we are going to talk on puberty menorrhagia. Today we are going to give lot of love and attention to the little angels who step into their teens and confront dysfunctional uterine bleeding. So from menarche to 19, if they experience dysfunctional uterine bleeding, it is called puberty menorrhagia. That is about 80 ml of bleed per month. That would sum up to 6 to 7 or even more days of bleed. It is a nuisance for the growing girl. But who is responsible for this? Yes, there are medical ailments like hypothyroidism, anemia, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura and lifestyle mismanagement. I would like to stress on lifestyle mismanagement. I'm not going to go into the rarer cause. Let's focus on lifestyle mismanagement. What happens is when parents overindulge and provide a lot to the child and pamper the child and say let's have food outside, let's go for chow mein, let's go for Chinese, the metabolism becomes distorted, disturbed. So we have to focus on lifestyle management and today I'm going to talk about social prescription. There should be a lot of harmony at home. We should, while having dinner or meals, discuss issues with our children. Please treat your children as young adults. Include them in all the issues possible, as far as applicable. When we ignore our children and they seek Peer sharing outside the family, in the school or with friends, they start anchoring to this lethal weapon, the mobile. So mobile sharing, discussion, oversharing of problems, insecurities would lead to wrong company. Wrong company would also encourage wrong eating and children go to sleep at late hours they hide from their parents, have, go through a lot of anxiety and stress. This anxiety and stress is nurtured by their immature young minds. This stress would encourage in aberrant bleeding, topped by late sleeping, late rising, disturbed bladder and bowel habits, which would give them headache. They will not be able to perform well in school. There is constant headache, irritation, a lot of anger, aggression steps in. When aggression steps in, there's defiance. When there's defiance, there is disharmony. So you have paternal disharmony, you have sibling disharmony, and of course there are a lot of challenges which a child meets with in school. A lot of reality shows, a lot of targets. How are we going to ease our children? Not by prescribing medicine, but by being constant companions to our children. Remember the word adolescent. If you break it, it becomes a doll with scent. So we've got to share fragrance with our growing girls. We've got to be partners to them and we've got to give them the right kind of food. Right now, the need for the R is vegetarian keto diet, which contains less of carbohydrates, more of proteins, and a small amount of fat. If we go through this rigor, probably polycystic ovarian disease, which is on the rise and is due to mismanagement of the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis thereby leading to excessive estrogen level 
resulting in heavy menstrual bleed could be handled so children moms and families please give a mild attention and focus on social prescription and if you do it you and i would succeed we would handle anemia polycystic ovarian disease is controlled by the genes hereditary by diet and by lifestyle we would incorporate exercise and healthy diet which would give a better frame to our growing girls thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the session please feel free to ask us your doubts and questions we are ready to answer them